Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we get out into the real world to explore the mind-body lifestyle. Hi, I'm Amy Dowling, and I'm going to show you a couple, well, a couple of ways to um, challenge the hamstring for dancers. Casey's going to be my beautiful model here. And a lot of times, uh, dancers won't realize that there can be a pretty great discrepancy between the strength, between the, ham, uh, the quadriceps and the hamstrings. And so we're going to start with a little bit of a four-point position here. And what you're looking for, obviously, is all your Pilates knowledge, that nice long back, neutral spine, a little bit of external rotation in the elbow here, a little secret bend in that elbow so they're not locking in their joints yet, and um, a real connection throughout the body. So just to start off, we're going to do several variations here. But Casey's going to lengthen her right leg along the floor. And then from the lower glute, without changing this beautiful um, alignment in her pelvis and torso, she's going to float the leg up, working from the very base of the glute here. Good. And then she can just lower it back down, trying to keep this beautiful alignment, and then float it up again. And so what you will notice here is that there's probably going to be, um, and I'm going to just bring her into a little bit of external rotation, that's going to be one thing that might happen because dancers are usually much more astute at their external rotation than their internal. And so really cueing this inner thigh to the ceiling, trying to keep this hip down and square with the opposite one, and really continuing to reach into the arms. Good. And you can lower that down, Casey, and just come all the way in and come into a child's pose. So we'll let her rest for a moment. So that's just the, the plain Jane version. No extra weight, just really focusing and being really clear on the alignment and where the movement is coming from. You may see a little bit of opening of the hip too. So you really want to um, give them a lot of feedback about where they are in space. And dancers have lovely proprioception, so they will usually correct for you pretty quickly. But this may be a new um, kind of sensation for them, especially if they're not used to working in um, parallel neutral rotation. So we're going to challenge this a little bit. I've got a TheraBand with a loop in it, and Casey's going to place it around her um, ankle. And the knot is going to be in the front of the ankle. And then the free end is going to go underneath her opposite knee. So if the band is attached to the right foot, it's going to go underneath the opposite knee. And this is going to give you a point of resistance to work from. So we start the same way. Nice neutral alignment in the spine and pelvis. She's going to inhale as she lengthens her leg out. And then exhale, float it up, reaching into the band. Good. And already we can see there's a little bit more of a challenge here. It's a little bit harder for her to keep that right hip down and keep this beautiful four corners of her torso nice and even. So she's already having to work a little bit harder. Good. Just one more. That's it. You can see that shake of truth starting to happen <laughs> and she can bend her knee when she's ready and just come out of it. So that is really working from the top of the hamstring. If we want to kind of take it a little bit deeper and run along the whole width of the hamstring, we have to change the um, angle of the this uh, TheraBand slightly. So it's going to go around the opposite foot now, and I'm going to give her a little bit of resistance. So you can determine how much slack is in between the feet. We'll give you a little bit of play. And this is kind of a heavy band, so if you have something lighter than a blue, it's probably be best to start with. So again, she's going to lengthen out just like she did, float the leg up. Now you want to imagine that there's a table here, and she's going to start to bend at the knee, hugging the heel, and already we can see how challenging this is. But it's activating that whole hamstring. She's having to really fight through her whole body, and this will challenge just about anyone. Good. And so one more, Casey. This is beautiful. Good. And then she's going to slowly come out of it and rest. So you want to make sure that you watch them very closely as you continue to challenge the movement because they're going to want to compromise and kind of strategize in different ways. And so your job is to really help them find that beautiful length in their spine and pelvis and really work to whatever their true strength is in the moment. 
That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.